everybody welcome back to the underground lair and guess what we got something special for you yes we um, do this is my little friend this is my micro base and uh, I got it last summer and since the winter we've had some fret sprout so we're gonna take care of that and I really just don't like um, flat wound strings. I wanted to like them. They feel so good to play. But they just don't play very well. Now I'm a very out of practice bass player. But I just wanted to give you a difference. Um, give you the sound of this bass. With flats. Once again, we're coming out of a microcube amp, and uh, so that's both pickups. Go with that. And that's with the tone all the way cranked up. Okay, and if we go to the bridge, pick up. just sounds lifeless. So I got a hold of these guys. Stay in tune. Short scale, short scale bass strings. We're going to go with a regular set of power wounds. They're 45 to 105 just like these. And uh, while we're at it we're going to clean up the uh, fret sprout throw those on there and see what happens. So let me do all that work and we'll see how it sounds with the power wounds. By the way, while I'm doing these uh, threads, and I know a lot of you guys on the Facebook group for the micro bass. Ibanez micro bass. Love flat wounds. These were on here for probably a no, not quite a year. And if one of you guys wants them, I'll send them to you for ten dollar shipping. We all could use a little help now and then. So, yeah, just um, PM me on my Facebook page, String Man Guitars, and I'll send you these short scale strings, flat wound labella, flat wounds. That's much a nicer. So, here you go. Here's the flat wounds. I didn't cut them. There's all the ends. So, yeah. Streaming guitars um, on Facebook. Just PM me and we could hook something up. Because who wants to spend $35 on a set of strings when you can get these that are pretty much unplayed and um, just been sitting around, so right? All right, well, I'm gonna polish the frets and um, oil the fingerboard and get these new strings on here. So she cleans up pretty nice, eh? I gotta hand it to them. They give you a nice heavy duty sealed envelope for two strings each. And whenever you install these, these are Grover 305s, by the way, in black. Or, I'm not Grover, Goto. Um, those drop right in, just so you know. So when I do these 
smaller post. Um, I go one and a half. Uh, so you got your space to your second uh, string and then a half of the distance here and I cut it there. That's what I found that works on these things. And I start them at about there. You bend them over and you wind. I wish it would have been the um, silk, black silk um, wrap at the end, but at the end, that's fine. It just looks nice, I think. I always put some graphite paste in there to make things work right. There we go. Keep your paper towel handy because this oil tends to like to leach out as it takes what it wants, then it's done. And that's how I do those tuners. Okay, so we're all, all uh, cleaned up. We got our stay in tune strings on. And we checked our intonation, everything's spot on. It was a little off, but I guess you know, I checked that in the winter time. So let's see if it sounds any different. Oh yeah. That's the um, P bass pickup. Could roll that down. There's the bridge pickup. Oh yeah, we still have to do pick up height real quick. Yep, live with that. Okay, um, so what we did to this thing is go to 305 uh, tuning machines. Um, Seymour Duncan quarter pounder set of P and J uh, pickups, Emerson pots, orange drop capacitor, pullback wiring, uh, hip shot kick ass bridge. This thing is awesome. Great sustain. Still have some more oil leaching out, but yeah. If you like what you see on my channel, please like and subscribe. Take care of the old folks to love your neighbor like yourself. Have a great weekend. Peace.